let's take a closer look at the art of Piet Mondrian. He was born 150 years ago in the Netherlands, and he's interesting to look at because he is very famous for this simple, abstract art full of lines and the primary colors. But before that, he began as a painter that liked to paint a simple, natural landscape. As he got older and went to art school and then traveled to Paris, his idea of art began to change. So he became interested more in the lines of art and the shapes of art. What used to be a tree now looked like something more simple, more pure. He experimented with color and even just tried to make his colors more pure. Soon he wasn't painting anything recognizable at all, but was instead interested in those very simple lines, shapes, and even bright colors. To escape World War II, he came to the United States and was brilliantly inspired by places like New York City. This painting is called Broadway Boogie Woogie. And ever since, artists, fashion designers, and other designers have been inspired by him. Let's also be inspired by him and make some abstract art. Sometimes I look closely at his paintings and my brain tries to figure out the relative size of his rectangles. There's a way we can take what we know about fractions and also create some interesting art inspired by him. Equivalent fractions are fractions that are the same amount when compared to one another. Here, one half, two quarters, and four eighths are the same. Here, I'm comparing one third and it looks the same as two sixths. One half is the same as three sixths. For your Mondrian art, I challenge you to use at least three equivalent fractions for your art. That means you'll have three pairs of boxes or rectangles that are right beside each other. One box or rectangle is divided equally into larger pieces. One box or rectangle right next to it is divided equally into smaller number of pieces. Your first box or rectangle will be colored in red to be whichever fraction you like. Here I'm doing one half. And then the other adjoining fraction will be colored in blue. Here I'm doing two quarters. So that is one pair. Can you do three of those on a piece of paper? Here are some different ideas for equivalent fractions. So I will begin on graph paper with pencil I created a square that I liked, and now I'm adjoining another square that is the same. I'm dividing the first square into equal parts, and then the second square into even more equal parts. So there's one pair. Now I'm creating another rectangular shape I really enjoy on this paper. I will divide the first rectangle into equal parts. You can always change your mind. I look like if I did that, it wouldn't be equal sized parts. So I decided to divide it in half that way. And then I have to divide my other rectangle into equal parts as well. I'm actually missing something here that I'll go back and fix in a moment. You might already know what it is. I'm creating a really large rectangle over here and then to make an equal adjoining sized rectangle, I'll need to draw it over to the left. Pretty cool. So this will be another pair. I can divide the first one however I like into equal parts. And then the second rectangle I divide also into equal parts. And then remember that we will go over your pencil lines with either a dark marker or black colored pencil. And we can see here how I'm creating four eighths and two quarters. And those are equivalent fractions paired right next to each other in my art. Doing the same down there. And now you can see I'm going to find my problem here. In order to make this pair of one another look the same, I will have to divide the blue rectangle 
differently than I originally intended. But now we'll be able to spot these as equivalent fractions because they'll look the same in my art. So part two, once you have your three or four pairs of red and blue rectangles that are equivalent fractions, is you can kind of just add black lines to your art wherever you think they would look good. Inspired by Mondrian, I'm pulling my lines off to the side of the page. Also inspired by Mondrian, I'm adding some yellow. I'm making sure that my yellow doesn't interact or interfere with my equivalent fractions, but I like how all three of these colors used together in my art makes it feel so balanced. I can see why he used these three colors. And don't forget you can use some black to color in your squares. When I'm coloring with colored pencil or marker, I try and color in one direction and then fill in the edges a little bit with the tip of my pencil. And when you're finished, if you have a nice piece of construction paper to back it, you can use glue stick around the back edge and across the middle of your art, and then take your time lowering it down onto the background and give it a nice press. You may write your equivalent fractions on your paper or leave it for people to spot your equivalent fractions. <laughs>